Hey everyone, Shauna here. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, I am here today to do a products I've used up slash empties video. And these are probably one of my favorite videos to watch um, on YouTube. I just, I think it's so cool to see like basically people's garbage, but like what people are using up. I think it's really cool. So I always really wanted to do one of these, but it's not like, like it takes time because you have to like collect, you have to use things first of all, but then you have to like Remember not to just throw them in the garbage to like keep them, uh, which is actually like really hard to do. There's a few things that I had to go like trash diving <laughs> to get it out because I throw it in the garbage. I was like, oh no, I'm supposed to be saving these for an empties video. So I've got a Lululemon bag here full of, like I said, basically my garbage. Um, I've been collecting things since sometime in the fall. So I've got I've got a decent amount. I wanted to wait till I had like a good chunk of stuff um, before I did this video, so I don't want this video to be really, really long, so let's get started. There really is no way to have a rhyme or reason to something like this, so I'm just gonna pull things out and that's gonna be that. So the first thing that I have is this raspberry exfoliating toner and it's from Circo T-Val, which is like, I, I think of it as like the smaller version of Lush. Um, they have one here in St. John's and I really like it. I really like their products. I've already repurchased one of these. This is like my favorite toner. I use it like every single night. The next thing I have is a body wash. This is the Aveeno Hydrating Body Wash, um, Fig and Shea Butter. And yeah, it was a body wash. You know, I really liked it. Um, I wouldn't like, I'm not opposed to repurchasing it, but I've got a lot of body washes to get through, so I'm not going to be repurchasing this anytime soon, but it's not because I didn't like it. Next, I have two packs of the Simple Brand Cleansing Facial Wipes. Um, and these are the, these are my favorite facial wipes. They're the only ones I buy. Um, and I pretty much only use them when I have like foundation and concealer and like a lot of face, a lot of um, makeup, like face makeup on. Um, so I don't go through them very often, but these are the only ones I buy and they're my favorite. And I already have another pack uh, like in the bathroom that I'm like halfway through, so I love these. Next, I have another face wash. This is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Cleanser. Um, and I think it's like orange, vitamin C and ginseng. So it was like orange scented and it was fun to use in the morning. Um, I did repurchase a similar one. It's the like purifying morning burst, whatever. It's from the same brand, but it's not the exact same one. Um, but I did like this one a lot. Next, I have two soaps. These are both from Bath and Body Works and I have the sparkling pink champagne and the Vermont sugar maple. And I enjoyed using both of these and you know, they're soap. They clean my hands. They smell good. Next, I have a shampoo. This is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Pure Clean Shampoo. And of course, I don't have a conditioner. I don't know when I ran out of the conditioner, but I didn't keep that one. Or if I don't even... Anyway, shampoo and conditioner never run out at the same time. Um, but I've already repurchased one of these because this is my favorite clarifying shampoo. Next, I have another facial cleanser, and this is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. And this is like a huge bottle. It took me so long to use this. And I was actually kind of waiting until this ran out do this video because I wanted to include this. It took me so long to use this. And this is my favorite cleanser. I use this almost every single day. Um, cleans my skin. It's not irritating. It doesn't break me out. I've been using this probably close to 10 years and is my absolute favorite cleanser. Next, I have a pack of the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strips and you just like put them on your nose, leave them on and they're supposed to like take out the blackheads. And I don't hate them. Like they don't irritate my skin or like make me break out or anything, but like I'm not like super impressed by them either. Like they're not horrible, but if they're not like something that I'm like, I need to use these like at least once a week or my nose is a mess. Like I still have blackheads and like I don't feel like they get a lot out of my nose. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I'm like leaving them on not long enough or something. I don't know. But I mean, I use them and like I don't hate them, but I'm just not that impressed with them. I don't know. Maybe I just got like a bad pack or something. Next I have a toothpaste. This is the Crest with Scope Extra Whitening Mint Splash. This is toothpaste. Gotta clean my teeth. Next, I have another shampoo. This is the Pantene Blonde Expressions Shampoo. And this is another product that I've been using for like years, like probably close to 10 years. And um, I use this one. I just, I wash my hair with two different shampoos like every time I wash my hair. So I'll wash it once and then I'll just use a little bit of this um, as like a second rinse. And it just kind of like, my hair gets really tangly, so it gets some of the knots out before I put conditioner in, and it makes my hair, like, brings out the blonde in my hair. Um, so I really like it, and this is, like, when I run out of this, I'm like, oh my goodness, what do I do now? Because this is, like, 
my favorite shampoo. Next, I have a leave-in conditioner. This is the Aveeno Positively Nourishing Leave-In Treatment, and I always need to use a leave-in conditioner. I don't know why, like my hair, I just, I love having soft hair. So as soon as I get out of the shower, and I just spray leave-in conditioner in, and this has been my favorite, and I've already repurchased a few of these. Um, I've been using this one since the summer. I just like happened to find it at the drugstore because I was looking for a new one, and I'm very glad I found this one because I love it. Next, I have a mini bottle of the Winter Candy Apple Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works, and so it's just a body spray, and I love this, and I already have repurchased it because I love it, and I love the Winter Candy Apple scent. The next thing I have is this little mini cleanser. This is the Olay Fresh Effects Shine Shine Go Away Shine Minimizing Cleanser, and this came when I bought my Olay Fresh Effects uh, Vava Vivid Power Cleanser. This little sample came with it, and I was using it with the power cleanser, and I really liked it. I've already repurchased a full size of this cleanser, but I just finished using this one because I only use it like maybe twice a week, so it actually took me a really long time to get through this. Um, and I only use, I was only using this with the Vava Vivid. I could use it by itself, but I just didn't. Um, cause I have so many cleansers, if you can't tell. So many. Um, but yeah, I've already repurchased the full size of this because I really liked it. The next thing I have is a moisturizer. This is the Night of Olay Firming Cream. Um, moisturizer, I bought this. I was using this all fall. I was putting it on my face before I went to bed. Moisturized my skin. It worked. I liked it. I went to repurchase it when this one ran out and I couldn't find it. So then I bought the Aveeno one, but um, I'm definitely gonna look for this one again because I did really like this one. The next thing I have is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer. And this is my favorite daily moisturizer. I've been using this for probably like two years um, because I really like it. Put it on in the morning and it's super moisturizing. It does have an SPF, which I like so that um, on days when it's not that sunny, but I know I'm gonna be outside and I don't wanna put on like a full um, sunscreen like I know that my skin is at least a little protected um, like if I'm just like walking to work or school or the grocery store or I'm not like spending the whole day outside but I am outside a little bit I know that my skin my face is still protected the next thing I have I completely destroyed in an attempt to get every last little bit of product but don't worry don't worry because I already repurchased it it is the Balea foot lotion moisturizing moisturizing foot lotion I don't know. I rub it on the soles of my feet before I go to bed and I put socks on and it just moisturizes my feet and I love it. The next thing I have is this eye serum and this is from a brand, I don't even know what brand it's from, but my mom bought it for me from this like, she didn't buy it from a store, she bought it from like a person who ordered it from, I don't even know where. I wish I had more information to tell you. If you're really like interested in it, you can like message me and I can probably find out exactly where it's from. But it's just this eye serum that I was putting like under my eyes before I went to bed. Um, and my like under eye area is just a hot mess all the time. Like no matter what I do, I don't even know what it is. Like I think like, it's not even sleep. Like I think there's something like wrong with my under eye area because it's always so bad and this I mean it didn't fix it but it definitely didn't make it worse um and I really like this one I'm definitely gonna ask my mom she can order me another one and the last thing I have is this box of face masks and this is the Balea brand I bought this at Chopper's Drug Mart and it was just kind of like five it's like an assorted gift pack of face masks and there's five in here um and I got this I don't know it was on sale or something, I don't know why I picked it up, but I wanted to try it, and I used all five face masks. My only problem with them is they come in these like little, like it's like a one or two use um, little pouch, I guess, um, which was fine to buy like this, because then I can like try them all out and see which ones I like, but I've only ever seen them sold, even individually, in little pouches like this. I've never seen like a full size bottle, and like, sure, they're not that expensive, but this is only like two uses, like, there was a couple in here that I really liked that I'd like to be able to get like a full bottle for that I can use like for a long period of time because um, I love having face masks and I haven't been able to find. Mind you, I haven't really looked like that that hard to find them but still like they're not like there's a whole display for these little ones and I haven't seen anything for like a bigger version. If you know if you've seen them in a shoppers or you know anything about it like definitely let me know down in the comments but um yeah, that's my only, the only reason I wouldn't repurchase these is because I don't want to buy these little pouches again. Like, I'd rather get like a full-sized bottle of these. But I did enjoy all of these masks, all five of them. So this has been my products I've used up video. Basically, I just showed you my garbage from the last few months. So 
lucky you. Let me know down in the comments um, if you've used, tried anything that I showed, if you have any opinions on it, um, anything you've, product you've used up that you're like, yeah, I remember. There was no makeup in here, um, probably because I use half of uh, any type of makeup, I'll use half of it, then I'll buy something else and forget about it. So I'm trying to use up more of my makeup. So hopefully I can do another one of these in the next few months that's like makeup that I've used up. Um, that's what that's all my hope is. So I can stop buying makeup and use up the stuff I have. If you have any video requests, be sure to leave those down in the comments as well because I always want to know what you guys want to see. And uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next time I post a video. Thanks for watching. Bye.